So here's the situation. Last time I had this bike out, I think, well, geez, it's been three, four weeks now. Anyway, rolled that tire off the rim. Didn't know I did it, and I put a bunch of junk in between the tire and the rim. And the last video, I kind of showed where it's at, but it's really hard to see. There's actually a bunch, like, four or five tire plugs that are just jammed in here just to try to keep the air in. And obviously, it got me home, but, you know tires losing air so i gotta try to do something and i think what i'm gonna try to do is break the tire off the bead i'm actually gonna take the tractor and put the forks on the front loader take this wheel off and uh, break the bead that way because i don't have a bead breaker so that should work anyway uh, problems first world problems i guess
believe that that bead did not pop. Not that that tractor weighs, you know, thousands upon thousands of pounds, but it weighs 2,400 pounds, just the tractor alone. You add another about 1,300, 1,400 pounds for the loader, and the 500 extra pounds I got in the back, and it still didn't pop that bead. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's all about leverage. But, but it seemed to do what I was hoping to, at least as you can see there, it compressed the tire enough that I could actually get in there and clean up the spot that I needed to clean out. It was only that one spot. The backside's fine. It was just that one spot where I rolled it off the rim and put a bunch of junk in there. You can see I was brushing a whole bunch of rocks and everything out of there. So, you know, here's hoping that I'll, uh, I'll inflate that see what it looks like and see if it holds. Uh, I think the next run I'm planning is next weekend. I couldn't get out this weekend for obvious reasons. Um, I actually did get invited out a couple runs, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll leave it at that. I'm just going to assemble everything back here and, and try it out and I'll get back to you guys in a couple days just to let you know how it's holding up. But uh, yeah, I will say that uh, Today is Remembrance Day. Um, I don't have my poppy on because I don't, didn't want to get it dirty. I was just, I've been wearing my poppy all day. Um, so for anybody in the service who was in the service who died serving this country, uh, this wonderful country of Canada, um, this, um, this right here is actually dedicated to you because if it weren't for the men and women in the services, um, probably wouldn't be here doing this. So, or we might be doing this under some sort of oppression. So, I thank you for your service and uh, wish everybody the best. And please, we forget. So, well, thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next run.